As someone who was Jason Voorhees for Halloween in 5th or 6th grade, probably not a great idea today, I've definitely been looking forward to stepping back into the hockey mask in Friday the 13th, the game. So it shouldn't come as too much of a surprise that I found taking on the persona of Jason and roaming around as an iconic, invincible force of murder is the highlight of this asymmetrical multiplayer killing spree. Unfortunately, the large majority of your time is spent controlling the machete fodder who are much less fun. The developers at Ilphonic got the feeling of playing this menacing character exactly right, and it's really fun to methodically hunt down your prey. Not only are his powers a good explanation of how Jason can seem to be everywhere at once in the movies, they make you feel powerful and in control of the situation. The problem is that, like in the similarly structured Evolve, you can't choose to be Jason. One player is chosen at random at the start of the match, and with up to 8 players that means there is a 12.5% chance of you being Jason. So you spend the vast majority of your time as a teenager, which isn't nearly as satisfying to play. On this side of the conflict, you have four survival options. Escape by car, escape by boat, call the cops to come rescue you, or survive the night. The first three methods require finding key items in order to repair the escape route, but the items are spread across the partially randomized map randomly. So playing as a teen means searching every drawer of every room in every cabin. You can hide in an outhouse or whack Jason with a weapon to stun him, but these mostly just buy you time. There is a multi-step process for actually killing Jason that is smartly tied to the movies, but it will require a lot of coordination. This is definitely a game where communication is key if you want to survive. Players on headsets will be able to let others know they found the car engine, and if a couple others have found the gas and keys, you can all rendezvous at the escape vehicle. Whether I'm murdering or being murdered, I absolutely appreciate that a lot of love for the Friday the 13th franchise is on display here. Six different Jasons are playable, including the pre-hockey mask baghead version from the second movie. The differences aren't just cosmetic, as each has its own strengths and weaknesses. Part 3 Jason can run but has weak stun resistance, for example. But no matter which version of Jason is hunting you, his kills are gruesomely delightful and totally on par with what you would expect to see on the movie screen. More are unlockable too. And there are plenty of Easter eggs in there for fans. Oh my god! Even Jason's nemesis Tommy Jarvis, a relatively deep cut for anyone but the biggest of Friday fans, is included as a hero character that can be summoned by the teens to help finish the fight. If you can trigger it, a player who has already been killed is chosen at random to take control of Tommy, so this mechanic also gives players a reason to stick around after they've been killed off and another chance to survive the night. Speaking of those colorful kills, most of them are unlocked with customization points earned by playing. The same goes for perks for the teenagers that will help them survive, such as starting with a weapon in your hand or higher damage resistance. There are also numerous unlocks that occur automatically as you level up your profile, like new Jason archetypes and counselor outfits. I do like the progression system, and I'm eager to unlock the new kills for Jason and threads for the teenagers that I have to keep playing as. While there is a lot of welcome attention to franchise details, Friday the 13th is one of the buggiest games I've played in a long time. Collision detection is terrible, and it's not uncommon to see characters popping through walls, teens hovering in air, and corpses still flailing about after Jason has ended them. Each teen has a few lines of dialogue, but their mouths don't move when speaking, and every single match begins with the same shot of the preppy teen's ridiculous face, which gets old fast. When you're playing as Jason, this is unquestionably the best Friday the 13th game ever made. I really appreciate the genuine love for the franchise on display here. Hunting down players and executing them in spectacularly gory scenes takes me back to the first time I watched these movies as a kid. But the fun of its asymmetrical multiplayer only action is heavily skewed toward Jason, which means you'll mostly be stuck playing as teens rummaging through drawers. Despite that lopsided gameplay and some pretty heinous glitches, there is some dumb fun to be had here, which is all the movies ever really offered anyway. For more on Friday the 13th, check out some Jason gameplay, some Counselor gameplay, and some 4K 60 frames per second footage. 